Hi there, and thanks for tuning in. Today's lesson is going to be 2.2, solving inequalities using addition and subtraction. This is very similar to what we learned about last chapter when we solved equations using addition and subtraction. So today, very should be a kind of a review. We're going to be writing eight things down in our notes today, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing we write down is the addition property of inequality, and that just means adding the same number to each side of an inequality produces an equivalent inequality. These are just some examples, but you basically just need to write down what is highlighted. This just essentially says, if we see subtraction, we're going to use addition to solve. Okay, go ahead and take time now to pause the video here so you can write down what's highlighted, and once you're done, click play. So here's an example of how you would solve a subtraction or an addition the inequality. I see minus 6, so I'm going to add 6 to both sides to get x by itself. So I'll have x is greater than or equal to negative 4. And just remember when I graph the solution, I have my three numbers I'm focusing on. This is greater than or equal to, so that's a closed circle pointing to the right. Here are a few that you get to try, so let's go ahead and pause the video here so you can try 2, 3, and 4, and once you're done, click play to check your work. So number 2, we need to add 2 to both sides to get b by itself, so we'll have b is greater than negative 7. So again, on our number line, we have negative 8, negative 7, negative 6, and greater than is an open circle pointing to the right. For number 3, we want to add 3 to both sides. So we get m is less than or equal to 8. So on our number line, we have 7, 8, 9. And less than or equal to is a closed circle pointing left. For number 4, we're going to be adding 1 fourth to the other side. Notice I'm still moving away from my variable. So I'm going to have 1 fourth plus 1 fourth, that's 2 fourths, or 1 half is greater than y, but remember it might be easier to rewrite that as y is less than one half. And then when you write down your numbers, we'll have an open circle going to the left. So if you didn't rewrite that one, it might help to do that just so you can make sure you're graphing correctly. The next thing we're going to talk about is subtraction probably property of inequality, and that just says subtracting the same number from each side of an inequality produces an equivalent inequality. So basically what we're saying is we want to balance the inequality by subtracting the same thing from both sides. That basically says if you see addition, you're going to use subtraction to solve. So let's go ahead and take time now to pause the video here so you can write down for number five, and then once you're done, click play to see how it's done. So here are two examples, and again, we're seeing addition here, so I'm going to be using subtraction to solve. So for letter A, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides, so I'm going to get Y is less than or equal to negative 3. So my number line, I'm going to have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, a closed circle over the negative 3, and pointing left. For letter B, I'm going to be subtracting 1.4 because I have a positive 1.4. So I'll get negative 9.4 is less than m, but I can rewrite that as m is greater than negative 9.4. So that on my number line, I've got negative 10, negative 9.4, and then negative 9. I have an open circle pointing to the right for greater than. So here are a few that you can try on your own. Let's go ahead and pause the video. You're solving and graphing, so make sure you do both of those directions. Once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so for number six, we should have subtracted five from both sides. So we get k is less than or equal to negative eight. I'm gonna go ahead and graph this one. Negative nine, negative eight, negative seven. That is a closed circle pointing left. Number seven, I'm subtracting one six from both sides. So subtracting one six, subtracting one six. I get four six or two thirds is less than or equal to z, but I'm gonna rewrite that as z is greater than or equal to two thirds. It does help to keep your variable on the left. So I don't know if we talked about that yet, but it does help to keep variable on the left so that when you graph, Let's 
soon as my pen starts working here. There we go. Sorry about that. I have zero, two thirds, and one, a closed circle pointing to the right. And then number eight, I'm just going to subtract 0.7 from both sides. So P is greater than negative 3, because you're actually adding those numbers together. And then I'm going to graph that one. So I have negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, open circle pointing right for number 8. Okay, that's all we have time for today, so just make sure you have those eight things written in your notes. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.